All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to embed images in a Doxygen file. I'm going to start off the bat with a new project so you kind of see the setup. Um, so just to say what I'm doing, I'm going to select where I want my working directory to be. And for this project, I'm going to do that Blackjack program I showed you guys just to do it with a new project. Um, so I'm going to go to the file, make a folder, doc, oh no, this is where it's going to run from. It's going to run from the file with the code. This is where Doxygen starts running. Uh, I'm going to call it Blackjack. Uh, I'm not going to do any of this nonsense. Uh, this is where the source code is. It's also this folder. And this is where the documentation is going to get stored. So I'm going to just make a folder called documentation. And I'm going to put it in there. Um, I'm going to do all entities. It doesn't really matter for what we're doing because it's not a real project. We'll do this because C++ and command line interface output. I don't know if that even matters because we don't see output in Doxygen. Um, not gonna do HTML. I'm not gonna do RTF because you guys can just paste it in uh, as an intermediate format for. I like the hyperlinked PDF. I think this also doesn't matter for what I'm gonna end up showing you. I'm gonna use the dot tool. Do this in expert. I'm going to go to LaTeX. Uh, actually, before I do that, dat, dot class diagrams is how you get your graphs. Um, and there's other graphs and stuff you can do in here. It's not that important. Uh, this guy, I'm going to do LaTeX source code. That's how my code gets in there. Um, and there's something important I'll show you. And I think it's in this guy here. Um, use MD file as main page. Use markdown file as main page. This is how you get your first page after the Doxygen cover page to be whatever you want. So you force the first chapter essentially. Um, and on HTML and stuff, you can make the you can get rid of the cover, but I don't think you can for LaTeX. Um, so to show you how we do that, I'm going to go to my projects folder. I'm going to make a file. I'm just changing to my blackjack directory, changing to the other one because I'm disorganized documentation I'm in the documentation directory now um, I'm going to make a file called readme.md so I'm going to say touch readme.md and you can do this in notepad or whatever your text editor uses you save it as .md don't use word or enriched text format use notepad 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 plus plus atom vs code um, I'm going to say Adam readme.md and I actually want to open a different one so let me force Adam to open separately this is just uh, behind the scenes nonsense okay there we go so here's my blank readme.markdown file. That's what MD is, markdown. Uh, and in this file, I'm going to give, sorry, gotta fix my other one. I'm going to give my page a name. And I'm going to call this, uh, on my lab that we turned in, it was called Laboratory One Cover Sheet Tests and Analysis. I don't remember if this part shows up, but we're gonna call it that for now. Uh, so I'm going to just call this Blackjack. And I can't guarantee this is going to work on the first try. Um, now 
I'm gonna now all you're going to end up having in here is just your image tags. You can put anything you want. You can put, you could type things, and if you go on Doxygen's um, documentation, you'll see all sorts of tags for pages and sections and paragraphs and subsections and all this weird cool things that you can kind of format it more the way you want. But I just use this for pictures because Doxygen did the rest. Um, so I'm going to pull up a the Word document that he's providing for us. And we're going to pretend I filled this out. And this is literally what I did last time was I went print preview to get the biggest picture I can. And I did it on my other monitor because it's larger, but this is good enough for show and tell. And I took a screenshot, control alt print screen. Uh, you can say it's your clipboard and you paste it into a, a image editor. I recommend paint.net if you're on Windows, but I, I can't get that on Linux. So I'm just going to open it with GIMP, which is a little bit overkill. Um, okay, there we go. And this part's a pain in the ass. This is why I re recommend paint.net it will automatically crop your pastes uh, so if I copy something make a new file it'll automatically be the size but unfortunately I can't do that so I have to look at what the size is it's a 500 by 500 new I have to manually type it in and I have to paste it and at this point if I was doing this for the actually pro actual project. This would all be filled out. This is just show and tell, showing you how I how I get the image into Doxygen. Um, so, sorry, I was just making sure I was actually recording. Um, so I'm going to save as. Uh, I'm going to store this in a folder in my code folder. Um, so right now my code folder is just that blackjack folder I showed you. Uh, projects blackjack. Uh, right here I'm going to create a folder. I'm just going to call this uh, output and this is where I'm going to store all the goofy things that I end up needing. And before I go further this is another GIMP problem. It wants to save it as a GIMP file, so I gotta export it. Got a file, export as. Uh, uh, lab sheet, lab sheet one. And we're just gonna do the one, but just for practices. So projects, blackjack output. Exporting it into here as a PNG and it's good. So now here I'm going to say and I think it's uh, so I have another one pulled up so I don't just remember this but it's image latex so you have to do the tag and then this is a call to say what format you want it for. You might be able to do this for the RTF as well. Uh, I didn't mess with that. You'd have to see if you can automatically do that. I'm sh I'm 100% sure there is a way to do it and you probably just say RTF here. Um, but latex and then you put the path of your image and mine's I think uh, I'm just going to go find it so I don't mess around. But it's actually here. Output, and I'm just going to copy this. Oops, Control Shift C. And so you can see other ways to do it in case you're watching this and you're not very familiar with computers themselves. Um, Go into projects where it's stored. 
going to find the picture I want. I'm going to right click at properties and there's always a path here. This is the path back to the root, uh, I believe. There's a little squiggle. There would be a squiggle before this. That's the root. Um, and don't need that for now. And I'm just going to paste this directly into here. So this is what you're seeing. You're seeing a backslash, your tag, the format what it's for, the image. I forgot the .png. Oh, no, I forgot the actual image itself. So let me... I called it uh, labsheet1.png. And then you have a size. You don't need a size, but it's probably going to be too small if you don't put one in. So I did equal 17 centimeters, and that seemed to scale pretty well for an 8.5 by 11 PDF. And I'm just going to save that. And we're going to double check. Oh, now we have to do... use md file as main page and this is the part we have to bear with me because i only had to do this once um, i'm pretty sure i can get the path of uh, click absolute path so i can take the path and put it in here and i think i need to input it so it knows what it's using as well. I think those are the two things. We'll figure it out by the time this is done. Um, there's also image paths because you can embed images elsewhere in Doxygen and Litex. Uh, but I don't think I need to do it, but we'll find out. So I think that's everything I need. We're just going to run it. Uh, everything looks fine not found an image path. Okay, so we're gonna go back to where I was. Expert, Linux, or I'm sorry, Latex. Nope, input, image path. We're gonna put that one in there. Wait, I'm sorry. No, that's not what I was looking for. It was looking for this. Copy, it wants input that, that I copied was the ab actual image path itself. Um, as I was playing with it before, I found out there is a way to just do the whole directory, but it wasn't consistent. And I know there's a way to do it easier, but I just had like all six images right here. Um, that looks good. And now I'm going to do my way of Uh, compiling it or whatever you call it, stitching it together as one PDF. Uh, CD documentation, uh, CD latex. Uh, and let's see if this works. I just typed make, that's the Linux command. Um, and here's the PDF, refman.pdf gonna bring it into this window and let's see if it worked oh so I do know it is in here because it says right here read me uh, so here's my 40 page undocumented program and here's the picture so yeah the process that we just did there worked um, to add more pictures you just add more lines to this so i'd have a picture here picture here picture here i don't think you need spaces between it i just did it because it's clean and you just name them whatever you want to name it and i also did this with my output um no i didn't i embedded the output into another page using the same concept. So if we go to my actual project that we submitted, I 
I had this one called, these are the same thing, I think, uh, output.docs. DOX is another file type that Doxygen understands. I think you can only have one markdown file, but I could be wrong. You can only have one chapter one markdown file. Um, oh, so this is what I was telling you about the page and the section and the subsections. If we look at my documentation, or mine and Annabelle's, um, so here's my cover sheets, and then this output page, is chapter two, you can see here that it's section. Uh, this thing here, the first thing you put after a header is how Doxygen, it's, it's like a variable you're declaring. And this is what you actually want it to be called. So this is the title of, this is the section. This is the title there. So I can reference this, this section for other things in Doxygen with this name here. So there's test one out, there's my output, uh, section, lexical, lexical. Um, so it shows there, it's like, here's test one, here's the output, here's more output for test one. And I guess I didn't do other sections, but it, before I did have all my code here, but then I found out Doxygen just does it for you. Like you see here, oh. Uh, it should be in here, but I probably missed the button. But anyway, that is how you do it. If you have questions, let me know. You can rewatch this. I can uh, talk with you and figure it out, but to cover the keys that we talked about was um, all entities uh, with the graphs and all of the side is HTML. Uh, I like the hyperlink PDF diagrams, dots down here. Expert in LaTeX, you want to generate LaTeX. Uh, the source code is what's supposed to put the, pic the code in. I think there's another setting you have to do to make it do it. Or it's because I'm not commented, I don't remember. Um, input, you have to have your pictures in the image path. So you put your path here, you hit plus and it puts it down here. You have to put your input that you want for your .md file in here. You need to keep your original input or else it won't see anything. And down here, you use markdown file as main page you also put the path for the markdown file here and that'll make your first chapter whatever you put in that markdown file uh, then run it and you should be good all right guys uh let me know how it works out for you <laughs>